what you can get for a couple dollars. Like, um, I love duck, but I, I hate duck with the bone in. And so, if I see duck on the menu, a lot of times, I'll ask the waitron if I can get the duck boneless. I said, well, you know, I, I take the two bucks out, or, you know, if it's duck, I'd probably give him five bucks, and say, listen, would you tell the cook or the chef that, I, you know, I'd like to have this boneless. Now, I, I know that there's that the waitron never takes that money back to the chef. You know, she just puts it in her pocket there, and she goes back there and says, there's some nutcase out there. He's going to go crazy if we don't bone the duck. Uh, can you help me out, you know? So I know that happens, but that's, like, ribs. I love ribs, but I hate cutting. I mean, I hate cutting the ribs. You get all messy before you even start re eating them. So I always tell them, listen, here's two bucks. Tell the, tell the cook, the chef, to cut the ribs for me. Now, they don't like to do that in a restaurant because it doesn't look as nice when it comes out on the plate, but I don't care what it looks like. On the plate, it's ribs. You know, if I'm going to eat ribs, <coughs> they give you the knife and stuff like that. I don't want to do that. It gets all over your shirt. So uh, I'll tell you about my favorite place, though, for uh, customization, standardization. And uh, one time, we had, my wife's family had a family reunion. And I, I, this is where I lived in Florida. And I, I'd done a bunch of work for this one hotel. So I did a trade out where I got rooms, food, and beverage for everybody and uh, for this family reunion. It was, and we were there for like two or three days. I got with just one meal, but then, and then my, my father-in-law uh, picked up her house's food, so it was great. And then the hotel gave us all sweets, and it was, it was really fun. And so after my wife's family left, my wife, my two daughters, and I, we decided to have a little vacation, because family reunion is not really a vacation, you know. Um, although my, my, my wife's family is really a lot of fun, but still, it's, it's, you know, you, you, it's, it's nice to have a little private time with your family, too. So we stayed there. We went to this restaurant called the Yellowtail. And um, we get in there, and on the menu, it says, it's a casual seafood restaurant. On the menu, it says, we'll do anything you want, just give us a buck. I'm, like, this is going to cost me half of what it usually costs me to get what I want. But see, here's a restaurant that, you know, they know customization means something to people. Like, I hate when you go someplace and it says, no substitutions. You're talking about corn. And mash me. Why? Why can't I substitute something? It doesn't even make sense. So uh, I wanted to get this tuna steak sandwich, and there, and um, it, it, it came with fries. And, well, I don't. I try to eat fries, so I I gave the waiter a buck. Left a buck in my pocket because it's only like, they said we'll do it for a buck. So you know why spend more money? I said to the waiter, you know, change my. Uh, it was chips. Change my chips to to coleslaw. And the waiter kind of liked it. He said, sir, we just put that on the, on the menu that we'll do anything you want, give us, just give us a buck. That's just kind of a joke. I said, no, no. I said, take the dollar. Because I, I, if he takes the dollar, I know we have a contract. I know I'm going to get what I want. So I don't mind paying the money to get what I want. And see, that's the secret about customization. People are willing to pay for it. They're willing to pay to get what they want. So when you say no substitutions, well, have a substitution, but let them pay for it. And, 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 you know, and, then, and make it worth their while. Make it really worth their while. So, so the guy says, well, okay, I'll take, the, I'll take the dollar. He said, but let me tell you about our chips. They're homemade chips. We slice the potatoes really thin. We rub them with jalapeno juice. We fry them up. They're delicious. I said, fantastic. Here's another dollar. Change it back to the chips. <laughs> you know, I had the best time. You know, I was like, here's a dollar. Go stand over there. It was, it was great. We got everything exactly what we wanted. See, the thing is, I don't care about if it costs me a little bit more. If I get exactly what I want, and that's the lesson. We're always afraid to ask people for money. But the thing is, with services, why can't we customize that? Why can't we customize that? When, like my consulting clients, uh, they'll say, well, can you do this for me? Sure I can. It's going to cost you. But you tell me exactly what you want, and I'll tell you. And they love it. They say, well, well, how much is it going to cost me? I say, well, tell me, tell me exactly what, what you want. Let's make sure that what I'm going to give you is exactly what you want. And then I'll tell you how much it's going to cost you. And what, I'll, what I usually do with people is I give them a couple different suggestions. I say, listen, I can give you that. It's going to cost you this much. But you know what? You don't, I don't think you need quite all that. Maybe you want to spend a little bit less and get this. Or maybe you haven't thought about this, but you've already spent this much. I'll tell you what I'll do. This normally costs, you know, 
this many dollars, but if you add it on, I'll package the whole thing together. And I, So what I try to do with customization is I try to get them to spend more than they were going to spend. Uh, and since it's a service, how much do services cost to provide? Nothing. <laughs> I mean, if, if people want a service, services cost nothing. I mean, they cost whatever the labor is, but that's not, that's not much. It's not like you're, 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 you're building something for them. Okay? So that's, that's four things that you, you, it, 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 it alludes to this in your chapter, but there's four things that I want you guys to have uh, the specifics, since you know, I teach in the hospitality program, uh, that, so it's and they're very important. It's uh, intangibility, and you overcome that with cues and clues. Oh, by the way, the other way you in overcome intangibility is with warranties and guarantees. Warranties and guarantees. I forgot to mention that to you. Um, uh, and 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 also personal recommendations. Like you may have somebody famous say, "Oh." I went, or a friend doesn't. This this intangi intangibility, by the way, this is bless you, this is very solvable these days on the web by getting what's called earned advertising. Anybody know what earned advertising is? Positive feedback. Yeah, positive feedback that's on the web, right, where people can see it. Like if you get it on Yelp or something like that, or Travelocity. Um, you know. Uh, so, so intangibility, overcome that with cues and clues. You overcome that with uh, warranties and guarantees. Uh, and and you, you, you overcome it with uh, personal recommendations. All right? Uh, then you've got um, uh, perishability. Uh, these are obviously, this, this is where you're trying, to, you're trying to change demand management. I mean, you're trying to use demand management. You're trying to get people to, to buy things when they weren't planning on buying. Right? That's how you overcome perishability. Customer, uh, customer server interaction, do this with training. You give people budgets, and you let them solve customer problems. Okay? Your, your servers love their ability to do that. Customers love it because they get it done quickly. And then finally, customization standardization. Just think of, um, uh, of the Yellowtail restaurant. We'll do anything you want. Just give us a buck. All right? We won't go below certain standards, uh, but we'll do whatever you want. And you just pay us a little extra for it. Or if it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it's going to increase your customer satisfaction, you do it at no charge. And you just you just uh, let them substitute. Okay? All right. Well,